Few actors become household names. Macaulay Culkin became one before he was even old enough to drive. Though viewers might TV remembered the bright, blue-eyed youngster in 1989's Uncle Buck, it was when Home Alone opened in theaters the following year that he transformed into an overnight child star. When we first met eight-year-old Kevin McAllister, Culkin, in the 1990 holiday film, he was busy fending off filthy animals from invading his Chicago home after his parents mistakenly left him home alone during their Christmas vacation. If you're wondering what he and the other cast members of the beloved Christmas comedy have been up to since its premiere, keep reading. Macaulay Culkin as Kevin McAllister. Culkin's leading role as Kevin catapulted the then 10-year-old child star into the spotlight after the Christmas classics release. Accidentally left behind in the shuffle of his large family's travel plans, Kevin's dream of being home alone quickly turns into a hilarious nightmare and battle of wits when a pair of bumbling thieves try to break into his house. After his heart-wrenching turn in My Girl, 1991, Culkin went on to star in Home Alone sequel, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, 1992. At age 18, he married actress Rachel Minor, but the pair split in 2000 and divorced in 2002. He then stepped back from the spotlight and began a low-profile relationship with actress Mila Kunis, whom he dated from 2002 to 2011. The actor found love again in 2017 with a fellow child star, The Sweet Life of Zach Cody's Brenda Song. The couple welcomed their first child, son Dakota Song, in April 2021 and became engaged the following January. In March 2023, Culkin's brother Kieran confirmed the pair had welcomed their second child, a son, in December 2022. Culkin is the CEO and publisher of the pop culture website Bunny Ears and host of the Bunny Ears podcast. In 2021, he appeared on season 10 of American Horror Story and received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in December 2023. Joe Pesci as Harry Lyme. Joe Pesci is no stranger to playing a criminal, although his turn as a con man in the 90s hit was more light-hearted than his usual fare. He also reprised the role of Harry in the sequel, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. The actor has been a long-time staple in Martin Scorsese's crime family sagas, appearing alongside Robert De Niro in cult classics such as Goodfellas, 1990, My Cousin Vinny, 1992, Casino, 1995, Gone Fishing, 1997, and The Irishman, 2019. In 1991, Pesci earned an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal of real-life gangster Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas and two additional nominations in the same category for Raging Bull, 1980, and The Irishman. Apart from acting, Pesci has dappled in music, having released three studio albums, including 2019's Pesci. Still singing, according to the Las Vegas Sun, Pesci has been married three times.
His most notable marriage was to actress model Claudia Haro from 1988 to 1992. The couple welcomed a daughter named Tiffany in 1992. Daniel Stern as Marv Merchants. Daniel Stern's character may not have succeeded in his plot to steal from the McAllisters, but the actor himself has managed to secure a spot in Hollywood in the decades since the film premiered. After reprising the role of Marv in the sequel, Stern continued his voice work as narrator on the 80s hit series The Wonder Years until its finale in 1993. Stern has worked steadily in film and TV ever since, appearing on A.D. Bryant's Hulu series Shrill and in the 2019 film James V.S. His future self. In 2023, he joined season 4 of Apple TV Plus's critically acclaimed science fiction drama For All Mankind as the character Eli Hobson. He and actress Laurie Matos have been married since 1980. They share three children together, daughters Ella and Sophie and son Henry Stern, a California state senator. Catherine O'Hara is Kate McAllister. Catherine O'Hara was already a familiar face in Hollywood thanks to several supporting roles throughout the 1980s, most notably in 1988's Beetlejuice. After portraying the McAllister family matriarch, O'Hara continued to act in various films and on several TV series, including Glenn Martin, DDS and Skylanders Academy. From 2015 to 2020, she delighted audiences with her hilarious performance as washed-up soap opera star Moira Rose on Schitt's Creek, a role that earned her an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in 2020. O'Hara has also voiced countless movie characters throughout the years, lending her talent to such films as The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993, Chicken Little, 2005, Elemental, 2023, and Pain Hustlers, 2023. Since 1992, O'Hara has been married to production designer Bo Welch, with whom she shares two sons, Matthew and Luke. John Hurd as Peter McAllister. Throughout his four-decade Hollywood career, John Hurd became a well-respected actor with over 200 big and small screen credits. He died suddenly in 2017 at age 71. Before his death, Hurd appeared in many well-known films, including his role as Kevin's loving, but forgetful, father, including Awakenings, 1990, Gladiator, 1992, and The Guardian, 2006. He also played a detective on five episodes of The Sopranos. Heard is survived by his three children. He welcomed a son, John Matthew Heard, with actress Melissa Leo. He also shared two children with ex-wife Sharon Hurd, daughter Annika Rose and son Maxwell John, who died at 22 in December 2016. Devon Rattray as Buzz McAllister. Devon Rattray is best known for his turn as Kevin's cruel older brother, Buzz, but the actor has kept up a steady career filled with supporting roles in the decade since. He has appeared on Law Order, Special Victims Unit, Blue Bloods, Chicago Med and Better Call Saul, as well as on an episode of Natasha Leon's hit Netflix series Russian Doll. He rounded out the star-studded cast of the Jennifer Lopez-led crime dramedy Hustlers, 2019, before appearing in the 2022 film Kimmy.
Kieran Culkin as Fuller McAllister. Kieran, Macaulay's real-life sibling, appeared in a handful of films following Home Alone and its sequel, once again portraying an annoying younger family member in 1999's Shush is All That. After earning a Golden Globe Best Actor nomination in 2003 for his leading role as the titular character in Igby Goes Down, Kieran followed in his brother's footsteps and took a break from acting until 2008. From 2018 to 2023, Kieran portrayed Roman Roy on HBOS hit series Succession, earning Best Supporting Actor nominations at both the Emmys and Golden Globes. His work on the show's fourth and final season garnered him a nomination for Best Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Series at the 2024 Golden Globe Awards. Like Macaulay, Kieran is also a father of two, sharing daughter Kinsey Sue and son Wilder Wolf with his wife, Jazz Charton. John Candy as Gus Polinski. Before the Polka King of the Midwest came to the frantic McAllister family's rescue at the airport, the Canadian comedian was famous for his long roster of Hollywood comedies, most notably Planes, Trains and Automobiles, 1987, Uncle Buck, 1989, and Cool Runnings, 1993. John Candy died of a heart attack in 1994, just a few years after Home Alone's release. He was 43, 